The court case will come out tomorrow, tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Y'all, how about lovely people? Okay, so we're going to jump right into this. Every time I think about Olivia, that song pops into my head, and I do not know why. But we got to get to the breakdown, because that's what we do over here. All right. Okay. Yesterday, Olivia drops a video. And I don't know why, right, why she was over there clickbaiting, that she thought in her ever-loving mind that that made her case look better. First off, y'all, one thing, let me say this. Olivia said, all right, that she was, uh uh-huh, a (laughs) approach at the Santa Claus. Remember, we were in the mall right in front of Santa Claus. My kids couldn't even enjoy it. We had to leave. We had to go. We had to exit stage left because I felt in fear. Remember? But then she drops a video yesterday, right? She drops a video and it clearly shows them waiting on Santa Claus. It clearly shows that they went and took pictures with Santa Claus. But what it clearly also shows is that after they got done with all their Santa Claus things, that she took them to the play area over there and they were having a decent time. So therefore, the whole story that it happened in front of Santa, I had to leave. I didn't want my kid. Girl, the video made your story look completely ridiculous the kids were still in the mall after you said the incident happened now gerard said okay that he was walking in the mall olivia was walking out that sounds more like what happened because there was no indication in that video that anything had happened olivia didn't look upset like she had just got into some argument or like she was ready to throw down at like she was saying none of the kids looked disheveled like they had just witnessed anything they were playing and laughing so olivia once again this is something that can be brought up in court hint hint gerard hint hint nisha going back i got the screen recording but anywho that's what she said what also made you look awful and dropping the video that you did yesterday was the fact that you had your vlog camera It was out while y'all were out here doing all of this stuff. But for some odd reason, you could not pick that vlog camera up to catch the all this stuff that happened. Girl, you got the vlog camera. It's hanging out the doppel bag on top of the stroller. You mean to tell me why all this argument going for your own personal benefit and your own personal gain? You couldn't have just clicked record. Even if we couldn't see it, you could still hear it. You couldn't hit record on your phone. You couldn't do anything, but you could record, oh, look at my hair. My hair look a mess. Oh, look at this. We was rushing. And then you could do all of that, but you couldn't record something that you said that you were in fear for your life about. I don't, I don't believe it. Y'all, I mean, does this girl think that people are slow or what? I mean, she has to think that somebody has lost all their marbles to believe anything she said. Now, let's skip ahead, okay? Let's skip on ahead to today. All right, now today... I'm going to say this. I was looking over on Tea Chime channel. If y'all have not seen it, go check out her community post, okay? Because now she got the paperwork up. Baby, did Gerard... (laughs) Wait a minute. Did he summons and put in paperwork that the daggone police department, somebody from there has to come and speak in court? Did they get served now that the police department is showing up? Baby, we don't... Let me tell you something. Now, I know a lot of y'all are probably like, Storm, why would the police department be... Because let me tell you something. Number one, they're going to call the police department in because they're going to ask a few questions. And there's probably going to be two or three if I had to take a guess out of my own, you know, mind of some things I've seen, you know, in the past. They're going to say, did you guys get a call from Olivia Johnson saying that she had been assaulted? They're going to say, no, we did not. Did she walk in and do any kind of paperwork before she filed this restraining order? No, she did not. Also, you guys have to keep in mind, Olivia has said some pretty harsh things about police in the past if y'all keep in mind she tried to say that gerard was bumping and popping and locked and dropping and molly whopping her all in front of the station and nobody did anything okay that's what she said also keep in mind that they had to drop the kids off at the police station right now knowing olivia uh uh-huh she probably caused some kind of stink is what i'm thinking but also i'm pretty sure since there was temporary you know a temporary restraining order in place all right 
I'm pretty sure that an officer had to be present when she dropped the children off. Like, I'm pretty sure there was an officer standing out between both cars to make sure that there was no contact, to make sure there was no drama. So they're probably also going to bring in the person who stood out there to make sure that handing off of the children went well. We also know that Olivia is one to say, when I go drop my kids off, they cry. Mm. And they want to stay with me. They don't want to go with their dad. So that could be another question that the court would ask. Okay, hey, they had a meeting place and it was your police station. When the when it came, did the kids seem like they were in distress when they were handed to their father? Did the kids cry? Did they want to stay with their mother? There's a lot of questions that could be asked. And I believe that that's why <laughs> they're bringing in the um whole you know somebody from the police department they typically don't put the officer's name in there it they'll just show up as a representation as the you know police department but i know a lot of people have been dming me saying why would they do that storm well typically because they have questions right and they want to get to the bottom because i don't this is my thing the judge is also going to look at olivia's history olivia had um you know called the pell pell when they were having a um housewarming saying her about her kids she's called them numerous times to her home to make complaints so one thing that will really stand out in this court case is this right here if you felt like you were in fear for your life why didn't you call us hmm? why didn't you call us olivia and that's actually a really good question right because if you felt like something like that was going on and it was such a big predicament why didn't you go to the security that was in the mall why? Because every mall has security now. Keep it. Let's keep it real. Why didn't you call us? Why didn't you say you needed help? Why didn't you make a, a complaint down at the department before you went and got the restraining order? Because you had no evidence to back it up. Now, also, which I'll do a breakdown of the paperwork a little bit later. But there was one more thing that was in there. If you read the top of the paperwork that's over there on Tea Times channel, it says that the evidence in this case is not limited to. And it has photos, videos, audio, um, and record. It has a list of things that are going to be presented in this case. And in this instance, I don't think that it's Olivia that's going to be presenting much. But, baby, I really think Olivia thinks that it's smooth sailing. But, baby, I think it's, she's, she's getting herself into an entanglement. First off, family court and custody is always a dirty battle because each parent wants their um, child, of course. But when it starts getting into all of this extra bickering and beckering, it gets real dirty. And I truly don't think that Olivia has the, you know, brain function to think that everything that I've done may just catch up to me tomorrow. All the things that I've said, all the allegations that I've made, there's going to be witnesses there. There's going to be testimony. There's going to be a lot of stuff and it can really make you look bad. And I just don't think that she cares or has the capacity to even think past go when it goes to this. And I know there's a lot of people in the comments saying, but she's their mother. I see that every day and I see that a lot. Yes, Olivia is their mother. Let me say that. But it doesn't make her mentally capable of taking care of children. A lot of people say, well, she's not harming them. Let me remind everyone that's watching. In the court custody papers, it had that Olivia lost custody due to neglect and a few other things. But we're going to stick with the neglect. N abuse is not always physical. It could be mental. We have seen numerous men in the picture uh, over there in Olivia's life where the children are calling him uh, dad and father and things of that nature. We have also seen some of the arguments that have taken place especially when she was with zolo in front of the children she picked the children up and moved them from the state of all their family across country uh-huh without any notice to gerard whatsoever or anyone else and took them from a loving family so that proves stability she uh cannot live on her own she always has to have her mother nearby to help with things that also proves stability then you have to think about all the things that she does in front of these children she has adult conversations i mean did y'all see the video yesterday because she surely we heard robin sitting right there in the background christian was laying on the bed and ryan was bouncing around and she sat there talking about how she was attacked in front of this person that person and everything else and was talking about the situation in front of the kids once again it's all about the mental we have heard the children say i want to go home it does not mean 
that they don't love their mother because we all are going to love our parents. I mean, a lot of us have been through things in our childhood, but we still love our parents because that's something that's naturally instilled in someone. But sometimes that's just like if we were in a relationship, it doesn't mean because you love that person that they're healthy for you or that you guys are healthy to be around each other. And that is the thing with Olivia. It does not mean that her children does not love her. It doesn't mean that she does not have love for her children. She is just not healthy or sane and needs to be in the presence of her children at this time. Now, two, three years from now, you never know. If she would go to some counseling and work on herself, the options could be limitless, okay? Also, if you take a close look at the paperwork, both parents were ordered parenting classes. Someone needs to ask themselves why Gerard completed his, but to this day, Olivia has not completed her parenting classes, has not made a child support payment, and has not done her rehabilitation services. That is the thing, Olivia. We only go off on you because of what you show, number one, and number two, the things that you lack to do. One thing that everybody has to realize, reactors, subscribers, and people out here on Beyonce's internet, we didn't make the decision to take the children from her. The court did, and the court did it with a lot of evidence. So therefore, now we're just reacting to it. It has nothing to do with who loves who, but sometimes if you want something, you have to show that you want it. So if Olivia would get out here and show that she wanted it by completing, uh, you know, her courses and getting herself together and doing better, getting stable, standing on her own two feet and stop with all the drama, then maybe someone can feel bad for her. But in this instance, I don't. Kudos, Gerard. You are a father. Stand up. Somebody has to because at the end of the day, the kids need it. Y'all. Don't let me get to preaching because y'all know how I get. I wanted to check in with my people, Storm Chasers. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see y'all in the comments below.